Hey everybody, Briar Good Killer here. It's uh, Saturday the 26th of April, 2014. And uh, I'm out here on DuPont State Forest doing some turkey hunting. Been hunting all week, hadn't killed a turkey, it's been rough. The weather's been beautiful. Uh, I've had a few opportunities, but hadn't killed one. So uh, anyway, it's mid-morning, I'm gonna have my coffee like I always do mid-morning. And I uh, thought I'd show you how I'll prepare that using my canteen, USGI canteen, canteen cup, and a special alcohol cook setup that I made just for it. So, um, stay with me. We'll get into it right now. demonstration. There's my top. Piece of tin foil. There's my windscreen. This piece of aluminum flashing. <coughs> and two ounces of fuel. Almost half of that fuel right there, it's so about an ounce. About the canteen cup is you can't help but get it a little bit dirty, but you know, I figure it's gonna be boiled anyway, it ain't gonna kill me. Virtually no wind right now, that's a good thing. I tell you, you just can't beat a little soda can stove. screen kind of snaps around it. And the tin foil sets on top. Pretty cool. Love my old canteen. I've had it for years. I got away from it for a while. And, uh, I'm back to it now. I put these tarp grommets here on the side of the uh, pouch. One here on the back below the flap. And the Alice clips. And one here. And that allowed me to tie this shoulder strap on. Kind of bandolier style, sling it over my shoulder, and uh, works real good. I can sling it, you know, down on my back where it's not in my way, and it doesn't catch on things when I walk through the woods. It's a nice little kit, man. Keep me some water purification tablets and a lighter in here, a small bit. Then I got the cup, the windscreen. The windscreen goes in the cup. The lid goes in the cup and the canteen still fits in the cup with the windscreen and the lid in there it all fits nice and neat right here so I got two ways to purify water um, as long as I, I got alcohol of course I could just burn a twig fire and 
purify water too as long as you got the canteen cup but two ways to quickly purify water uh, you know in an ex field expediently purification tabs and uh, and alcohol I'm not pure, trying to purify this water right now I'm just making me a cup of coffee also carry my saw your mini in my turkey vest but anyway I'll get with you when that sucker boils it usually takes it about six or eight minutes This old chimney was in the center of the house. You can see the foundation stones here. This house was about 25 by 15 with two rooms. One here. one here double chimney they really knew how to build them in them days of course they know how to build them today even better really but you know when this chimney was built and it is mortared with concrete. Um, so it's not like it's 500 years old or anything, but when this chimney was built, concrete was hard to get around here. And the road's down there about 30, not even 30 minutes, probably 20 minutes. And I'm telling you, it was, uh, that road wasn't here. You know, the nearest road where a bunch of cars drove on when this thing was built, good God, these people live way back in the middle of nowhere. I mean, they were totally self-sufficient people. They didn't depend on nobody else for nothing, I guarantee you. They couldn't have. They were too far away from everything. There ain't a thing left of the house. The logs. Just the rocks and the chimney. Is there any bats in there? Because I ain't looking. <laughs> That's about as close to boiling as I want my coffee water. I want to be able to drink it within the next few minutes. But anyway, cool. Nice little canteen kit. And the great thing about it is 
these big handles on the canteen cup, they don't get hot at all. Not, not, not even the slightest bit warm. So worked out just right with the size of the stove, the size of the uh, windscreen, and I still got a little teeny bit of liquid alcohol in there. But if I would have let that go, come to a rolling boil, it would have been a perfect burn. And there it goes now, actually. So it's just right, just perfect. Still, yeah, there's still a little liquid alcohol in there. Hear it? I know you can't see it, but you can hear it. So, would have been just right to get a full rolling boil for a couple minutes. Works out perfect for me. Just let me put this back around that just to keep it from burning the flora. Here's the stove up close. It occurred to me that I've never done a close-up of my alcohol stoves. You know, it's just a soda can. Cut about three quarters of an inch from the bottom and about three quarters of an inch from the top. You shove the top in the bottom and I just crimp it all the way around. I crimp it all the way around where it'll fit in there easy. I push it in there, then I go along the inside with my thumb, press it back out. If you can't get it to seal tight enough, in other words, where when you set your pot on it, it wants to burn out of this seam and not out of your holes, your jet holes, then you can pull it back apart, put a bead of JB Weld in there, and then put it back together like I did on this one. It burns just as pretty as you please. You put an ounce of alcohol in it, it'll burn for 10 or 12 minutes. A bowl of water in six or eight, you know, outside, uh, depending on the pot you're using. You know, when I'm using my short, flat, five inch Boy Scout pot, it'll boil water in three or four minutes. But uh, with the canteen cup, it takes six or eight, and it burns 10 or 12 minutes. So easy to make. It's a stout little stove, too. I mean, if you step on it, you're going to crush it, but just normal activities. You're not going to hurt this stove. Anyway, this is what I call a rainbow stove because the first one I saw that was similar to this was on Rainbow Hikers channel. Check out the link below. He's old school, man. guys enjoyed seeing my little canteen cook kit 
and uh, appreciate everybody watching all my videos as usual, and we'll see you on the next one. Take it easy.